delighted that you're here for this initial organizing meeting for Google Season of Dogs. I'm Mark Waite. We're joined by Oleg Nenashev, uh, Kristen Whetstone, Roman Rodriguez-Gill, and I apologize. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Could you announce yourself? Sl Sladen? Well, let's proceed. Uh, what we'd like to do here is our goal is with this first meeting is to review where we're at and do our best to prepare to submit our application on time for the 23rd of April deadline for the for the Google Season of Docs proposal. So pr my proposal is let's review the agenda and ask everyone in the in the meeting to as I review the agenda note things that you believe should be added to the agenda. We'll add them to the agenda and then we'll actually work through the agenda. We will end this meeting on time in about 40 minutes uh, so that we don't spend an inordinate amount of your time. But I like to work from the agenda as our driving, driving plan. So I'll spend some time discussing upcoming events. I've got a brief status report to talk about some, some details and things. Then the bulk of the meeting, I think, is on application status review, where Oleg will can lead us through a discussion and I'll capture action items. If we have time, I'd like to review project ideas and possibly assign potential mentors to those project ideas. Then in the last few minutes of the meeting, I'll summarize the action items and we'll plan for the next meeting. And I would propose that we'll plan when the next meeting will be and then conclude this meeting. Are there other topics you would like to have on the agenda? Well, we could do some introductions if uh, time allows, but uh, we don't have everybody on the call today. So maybe we could do it next time. That's that's a good that's a good proposal. Let's let's include that introductions. Who we are, where we're from. Etc. Good. Okay. Any other agenda additions? I think no. I would wish we could get to application status review as soon as possible because we've had only a few days left. Uh, right. So yeah, I would rather start the discussion. Are you suggesting we have to put this one at the top of the list, Oleg? Well, it would be nice, but uh, it's totally up to you. Maybe we can do it right. either way. Let's let's do that. Let's put that let's put that right here at the top, and that way we're aware. That also gives us an introduction to many of the things that that would have been in the status report, but gives us a more natural a natural place to do it. Let's talk about the real application. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, so application, the application is due April 23rd. And I propose that as a matter of, uh, that we follow the similar pattern as Google Summer of Code has been doing, where they tend to post Jenkins.io blog posts to give broader, more global status reports. Um, yep. I like that. So then, Oleg, why don't you take us through application status review and I'll take notes. Okay. Oh, sorry, Mark. Um, what about the Jenkins X? Like we're doing two proposals, right? One for Jenkins and one's for Jenkins X. So do we need to maybe put something that that we're going to do the same equivalent for Jenkins X? No. Actually, the intent was to do a single Google season of docs for the entire, where and then Jenkins and Jenkins X would be two two part two components of it. Did I get it correct, Oleg? Well, um, Jenkins is a project. Jenkins X formally now is a sub project uh, in, inside Jenkins organization now. So until CDF transition is finished, uh, Jenkins X is eligible to participate in uh, Google Season of Docs or Google Summer of Code as a part of Jenkins organization. Once uh, the transition is done, uh, well, uh, it will be a topic for discussion, but uh, right now uh, it's perfectly fine to have Jenkins X project ideas. But uh, yeah, in order to have Jenkins X project, somebody has to propose Jenkins X project, and so it hasn't happened. So, so that's why. So John is working on Jenkins X documentation 
it, it, um, in the community and for Cloud Bees. And so um, the plan was that he would lead some Jenkins X projects if with, with within this Google Summer of Code um, to try to spark more community interest in writing for Jenkins X. So that was well, something we could okay, plan uh, for. So probably we should to talk about uh, about how community work happens and how GSOC and uh, GSOC happen. Because right now we cannot really say will about any of the project ideas. So if you want, I can show you it uh, on example of Google season, uh, Summer of Code because yeah, we have uh, everything in process. But yeah, we have pretty much the same pro uh, process for G uh, GSOC. So how it happens? Um, each organization uh, posts a number of project ideas. Uh, for example, here's a list of project ideas created for JSOC. Um, okay. so each organization uh, is expected to have uh, this list of project ideas. Then uh, potential technical writers will be reviewing these project ideas, uh, reaching out to the community, and at some point applying uh, to the projects. And uh, only uh, after applications, when uh, there is a processing of applications, so there is a decision made to which uh, projects will be accepted. So it means that, uh, yeah, we can have one uh, project for Jenkins, one project for Jenkins X, but ultimately it's too early to talk about it. Uh, we first need to get uh, our projects, we need to get applications, and yeah, if we get good applications, then we somehow decide which applications we accept. As an organization. Okay, no, that that makes sense. I I just I, yeah. I Tracy, I didn't realize that um, it's all under one project, and then Jenkins X would be like a subcomponent of Jenkins. I just misunderstood that part it's of the application. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a, a potential topic to discuss because um, we have six days till uh, the deadline for application. So, for example, if you want to have uh, um, we could have separate applications for Jenkins and Jenkins X. Uh, it's also possible, and in such case, we can have up to four projects if both organizations get accepted. So it would be. Right, yeah, and that's when I don't. Yeah, I don't know if Trace is available, but yeah, I mean, I just, I, I'm fine either way. I'm just trying to make sure I understand, you know, what we're proposing because when I talked to Tracy a couple of days ago. It sounded like she she said that an organization can propose up to two projects. And a couple of days ago, I she said that we were going to do a Jenkins project and a Jenkins X project proposal mm -hmm. since each org can propose up to two. So, um, well, I'm not aware about any of these discussions. So yeah, there might be some uh, internal discussions, but in the mailing list, uh, there is no discussion about that. Uh, so. Speaking of the community side, uh, yeah, currently we do an application, and in application, what we say, it's mentoring capacity. So in our application, we say how many technical writers does your organization want to mentor this year? One or two. Uh, so we have only two choices. So we can uh, say that we want uh, to mentor two uh, projects, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, then uh, there will be still project ideas. So there will be a number of project ideas. Now we have maybe five, and uh, potential technical writers. They will go on, uh, through. Will be going through the list of project ideas, selecting uh, ones which are interesting to them, reaching out to the community, and finally applying. So, yeah, we would be interested to have uh, Jenkins project for sure, uh, same as Jenkins, but it would really depend on applications. Uh, if we apply as a single organization, Jenkins, yeah, it would be will really depend on the applications. If we apply as two organizations, like Jenkins organization and Jenkins X organization, then yeah, first we may have up to four projects if both get accepted. And secondly, each project uh, would have independent uh, resource pools. Um, so, yeah, both ways are possible. And it's something uh, what can be discussed now. Because now we do only one application for Jenkins project. But if somebody wants to do a separate application for Jenkins X, it's something we could do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, 
No, that's fine. I think it works either way. I mean, I'm not super hung up on whether we divide into one or two projects. I just want to make sure that, um, you know, that, that there's some Jenkins X topics on here because I think it's a great way to get people to write um, for it. And, and John is already going to, is, is already contributing to it anyway. And, you know, if we could build some momentum around there, um, I would love to. Okay. So if you want to have uh, a project for Jenkins X, we need to have a Jenkins X project ID here by, uh, well, it would be pretty short there. So it wouldn't be April 2030. It can be done a bit later, but it, still uh, the first step to have a Jenkins X project would be to have a Jenkins X project idea. Okay, yeah, that's what Tracy was saying. She So she said that she was gonna send me um, the proposal and show me where to like put in the ideas is, is that this document that you're showing right now yes it is okay if you could send me the um you could just send me the link to this i'm happy to to add in um uh you know john and uh and petra's yeah. name and then we will we will sit down today and um add some suggestions thank you appreciate it yeah i put uh, most documents uh to the chat so you thank can uh, you. You can take them from here. So yeah, um, probably we could uh, return back uh, to the application process. Yeah, we discussed some bits right now. Um, but yeah, there are some open questions. It's not only about project ideas. So project ideas is what we discussed uh, with Tammy. Uh, we need project ideas in this list, and it would be a nice step uh, forward. So if anybody has any project idea in mind, uh, please propose a change in this document. Uh, everybody should be able to propose a change. So you just go to this document, uh, click uh, su suggest change, and write uh, your own project ID here, for example. Okay. Uh, let's say something, uh, drinking sex, whatever. Mm. No, part, yeah, we will, we will do that. Um, we'll find yeah. some time do that thank you yeah so yeah it would be the first step and yeah maybe it's a question uh, to you and also mark and uh, tracy yeah. so if there is an interest to have more than two projects maybe applying as jenkins x and jenkins x independently would be a good step for that sure yeah i'll put yeah i'll put our, our jenkins x proposal in that section you just added and then um um you know, Petra would love to be a mentor as well. So if there are any um, potential Jenkins proposed topics that we can add or as a potential mentor, that's fine. Or we can come up with some additional ones. Um, whatever, whatever, you know, how many project ideas do we need to have here? Well, uh, we need to have several uh, project ideas. So okay. even with the current list, we are, well, more or less fine. Well, okay. It's always uh, nice to have more project ideas. So for example, in Google Summer of Code this year, we have uh, 27 project ideas. Okay. Uh, but uh, in GSOT, we can have less, but yeah, having uh, more project ideas is still, uh, is, uh, is still helpful because it will uh, give uh, uh, more choice uh, for potential uh, technical writers. And if you propose diverse project ideas, so different technology stacks, different areas, then uh, there are higher chances so that uh, you will get more applications. Okay, so great. We'll sit down today and add some things um, to this list with Petra and John as potential mentors. Um, and then, yeah, you, you guys can, can let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Tom. So yeah, uh, this is one part of the application. We really need project ideas, but it's not uh, the only part of uh, the application. Uh, what else we need to do uh, by April 23rd? So you may see that uh, there is another document called GSOT application. So effectively, uh, this is a Google form, uh, which has been originally created uh, by me on the first day of the GSOT applications. So just to have a stake in the ground. Uh, you may see that uh, there is some text there, and uh, yeah, I will appreciate if uh, you guys uh, take a look at the text, maybe propose some changes. Uh, it, uh, the form is not that big. Uh, well, it's much smaller compared to JSOC, uh, 
uh, but yeah, it still includes some bits. And one of the bits uh, which we need to discuss is a uh, link to your organization page about season of dogs. So this is a part which is still missing and which I wanted to discuss today uh, because, uh, well, uh, JSOC, for example, JSOC has a landing page uh, on uh, um, Jenkins.io website. So there is a Jenkins.io projects JSOC, and it's a kind of landing for all information about JSOC, including student documentation, mentor documentation, project documentation, uh, uh, project pages, project ideas, etc. So everything is located uh, uh, in Jenkins.io. Uh, other programs, for example, Outreachy, they don't have landing pages on Jenkins.io. Maybe they should, but right now they don't. Uh, what is the question here in this application that we actually are expected to provide a landing page? So my question uh, would be uh, to participants of this meeting, how do we do that? Well, the best way to have something on Jenkins.io uh, but maybe uh, there are other proposals how to implement that. Actually, I'd, I'd prefer, I'd propose the action item. Mark Waite takes the responsibility to create a pull request to Jenkins.io to create something smaller than but similar to Google Summer of Code because the, the, the model feels like it works well for us. I, I think that's mm -hmm. simple, direct, and gives us a public place to put it. Yeah, uh, one of the problems which we uh, have with uh, JSOC, so JSOC was created three years ago before we had special interest groups. So here you may see that uh, JSOC is uh, actually listed as a sub-project um, in Jenkins, so uh, on the same level like Jenkins X, remoting, configuration as code, um, which is probably okay. Uh, but uh, now, uh, since we have community pages, Maybe it uh, might make sense to, for example, do it uh, under the umbrella of advocacy and outreach, or maybe we could have a, just a documentation sub-project and have uh, JSOT uh, as a sub-page within uh, a documentation sub-project. So it's something uh, what needs to be discussed because I'm not sure what would be the best way. And is a pull request an, uh, an acceptable way to test drive that? Do we need it? Given that we're only six days away from application, I'm prone to use pull requests rather than the full Jenkins enhancement project process, the JEP process. No, JEP process isn't something we need to do there for sure. So, yeah, for me, the most straightforward way was to create a documentation. Uh, or maybe documentation special interest group. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure whether it will. It's the right approach because yeah, I would rather expect each sub project and each uh, special interest group to be responsible for its own documentation. So, yeah. Right, and to me, it almost feels like this would, since they're so similar, it kind of overlaps a little bit with the Google Summer of Code group. So, yeah, right. Yeah, so it's like it would make it be a little bit harder to have a whole other group for a program very similar to Google Summer of Code. Yeah, so yeah, there are multiple ways. One way is to just have an entry here. Uh, well, it's uh, the most straightforward way. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm great with doing that. I was assuming it would go under special interest group, but you're recommending it actually be treated as a sub project. It's big enough with enough things, it feels justifiable as a sub project. I'll do that. So you, yeah, here you wrote uh, documentation and seek. So actually, whatever works for you. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, the second big uh, open question we have uh, for the application. The rest of the project is pretty straightforward, so everything is in place. I'm not sure why. Um, so, primary administrator, 
So, so we have a primary administrator display name and full name. Fixed. Yep. Um, one thing which wasn't clear to me is about uh, this open source project description. So it's probably a topic to discuss uh, in the uh, JSON Slack channel um, because, uh, yeah, for me it's not clear what is the size of the description we should provide. When you apply to JSON, uh, you get information about uh, content size is you need to provide. Here it's just a free form. So you can provide uh, war and peace there, or you can just provide uh, two sentences like I have here. Oh, actually only one sentence. So maybe it's something uh, which we need to discuss to understand what we really need to provide there. So this, this description is read by candidates who are considering whether or not they would like to submit an application to us to be part of Google Season of Docs as technical writers, right? Well, I would assume so, but since it's the first year of Google Season of Dogs, so we really have no idea what will be the website, what will be uh, the um, uh, project listing. So it seems that uh, they decided not to uh, copy the entire JSOC structure in JSON. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how will the final uh, JSOC uh, website uh, look like. So yeah, that's why for me it's not clear what we should provide here. So I, I'm prone to leave it exactly as you created it. I like that description. I think that's a, unless there's strong opinion otherwise, that feels good enough to me. Oops, sorry. I shouldn't have screen shared that. Okay. Yeah, so I just wanted to show examples and I understood that I'm actually locked in so I'll probably cut some more bits of the video later. Okay. So yeah, maybe we can just uh, ask in Slack later or keep it as is. I believe that if something goes wrong, we can always ask uh, JSOT uh, uh, the support to update uh, the uh, website if you want to, to make more information. But yeah, yeah. this one we is one. more. In I feel like we should be a little bit more descriptive, right? It's supposed to be a compelling reason to accept us. I'm assuming to describe our project, so I think that's a great start, but um, I'm happy for someone on my team to help maybe add a few more sentences to it to yeah. really just, you know, Jenkins itself. Yeah, right. I can show you how it looks uh, for JSOC now, because JSOC is already running. So yeah, here, you great, go, yeah. Yeah, here you can go to organizations. So there is a number of organizations, something like 200 organizations uh, this time. Uh, we can just look for Jenkins. We, we have Jenkins project here. Yeah. Yeah. And is, there a, is there a character limit? It seems like these are pretty short. I wonder if we are, we're trying to fit into a certain limitation. Yeah, uh, for uh, JSOC, there is definitely a limit. Uh, so for JSOC, uh, you provide a data in markdown format with uh, uh, text size limits, so you can estimate what uh, would be the target content. So for example, here's the description we have uh, on the JSOC site. But uh, I'm not sure whether you can uh, do the same for Google Seasonal Dogs because we just submit Google form. So it's not markdown, mm -hmm. I would assume. Um, and we also don't know the target size of entries. Right, yeah. Yeah, happy oh. to help. That. Oh, like if, if you want get that information, someone on my team can help you with that if you want it, once you get the character limit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So, yeah, whatever proposals say uh, here will be uh, helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, what uh, happens next for us? So yeah, we will be just editing this application. So we, if anybody wants to propose changes, please just do that. And uh, on April 22nd, I plan to just uh, copy all the fields and uh, update uh, the um, Google form because 
uh, I started the Google form and uh, they cannot transfer, transfer it to Mark. So I will be submitting the final proposal. Well, yeah, and I really prefer to do it on Sunday, not on the Monday. Okay, so you want us to get our stuff in by the end of this work week, right? So if we have it in by end of day Friday, we're good? Yeah, it would be uh, my preference. So I'm sure. traveling on Friday and uh, Saturday. But uh, yeah, on Sunday, uh, we could link up because yeah, on Monday, I cannot guarantee my availability. No, that's fine. We'll put our stuff in there by end of day Friday. Mm -hmm. oh, Mark, uh, is it fine with you? Yes. Okay, well, then uh, yeah, we can just agree that uh, yeah, on Sunday, our target that on Sunday, uh, April 22nd, we have everything of 21st. Yeah, 21st. We have everything in place. Um, I submitted. And if there are some uh, last minute changes, we still can apply them. But uh, we target uh, having a final application uh, on Sunday. Okay, so that's it from me. If there is no questions, we can just press it to other agenda items. Okay, were there, Oleg, one of the things that was noted in by Sladen in the uh, in the Gitter channel was the more detail needed on mentors. Is there something in the application that we need with regard to mentors? No. So what we need, uh, mentors? So mentors expected uh, to click, uh, sorry, to pass the, the consent form or whatever form. Uh, so all mentors and uh, that means they have to pass uh, through whatever uh, Google form. So if you open the GSOT uh, website, you can find the guidelines. And uh, all mentors are expected uh, to pass uh, this form, but I believe that uh, there is no strict deadline uh, for mentors. Or that means uh, have to pass them uh, by the application deadline. So both you and Tracy should complete it by Monday. Great. And I've already completed the alternative organization administrator. I'm yeah, not but... sure how to complete the organization administrator because I think they have it attached to who submits the form. All right. And that's why we have Slack channel, because it's a first year of Google season of dogs. So yeah, the process isn't established yet. Okay. And if something doesn't work, we have a mailing list and we have a Slack channel. And I believe that uh, it would be the best way to clarify any kind of question. Well, and, and so their request was, their request on the Slack channel is, Mark, could you submit the the uh, the application instead of having Oleg submit it, they were I think trying to take the easy way out in terms of of not having to to go through some special push ups to make me organization admin. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's proceed then with the assumption now that you'll submit the application on the 22nd, and mm -hmm. if we've learned something in the Slack channel that says no, that won't work. We'll do it differently then. We'll find a way to, to meet their their request. Yeah, right. Okay. So any other things with regard to application status review, Oleg? Mm, nothing from me. Okay. So let's take up the status report just briefly then. Uh, we would like to switch to use Zoom for future meetings. One is that the, with in the context of the Continuous Delivery Foundation, there's active effort to do that. The other is it will help many of our colleagues in China get easier access. So that's the plan. We'll follow the same pattern in the future of sharing a link to the location in the Gitter channel. Uh, please consider Gitter as our primary communications channel. Mm -hmm. And we will use blog posts to Jenkins IO for future broad communications. And so on the GitHub channel, we understand the Jenkins CI docs, right? Correct. Yes, thanks. I should have embedded that link. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think that it also makes sense to reference the mailing list. Because, yeah, what we do in uh, 
uh, full summer of code. We at least say that uh, we try to do as much communications as possible in the mailing list because mailing list is a synchronous communication channel. And unfortunately, Gitter is not a good uh, channel for synchronous communications. It doesn't support threads, etc. So yeah, our approach is that we do try to do mailing list for all kinds of long uh, conversations and uh, Gitter for short uh, uh, sync ups. So then is it is it better to declare it that we'll use l lasting conversations in in the mailing list and interactive communications in the in the Gitter channel? It would be my suggestion. I like that. Let's let's take that as a yes, unless we get strong objection from someone. Mm -hmm. um, can someone share this doc with me? I can't seem to find it. Uh -huh. yeah. Sure. It's it's in the you'll find a link to it in the channel, in the Gitter channel, and we'll also happily we'll paste the link to it every so often in the Gitter channel just so people are aware. Also put it into the mailing list. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah great. Okay, so I wanted to take a few minutes here to be sure that we've we've got a, a current list of who's doing what in the in the effort. So I'm taking on organization administrator responsibility. Tammy specifically, I'm choosing to do only one one pro, one organization here, not two. That will limit us to two projects. So the goal would be have one of those be Jenkins and the other one Jenkins X. But I'm not ready to sign up to be organization administrator for two two different projects yet. I'm worried that that will be more than I can do. Okay. So um, that, yeah, I mean, so happy that, happy to to help um, if we want to take this offline, Mark, and you and I can discuss. Um, happy to figure out how you know my team can help with that since I know that uh, you got kind of time limits here. Great, thanks. Tracy Miranda has agreed to be the alternative organization administrator. She's not available to attend right now, but she's very much committed to it. Then mentors, I've listed the mentors of which I'm aware. So Petra, Kristen, uh, Zhao, uh, Arnab, and John Ha. Others, if I've made a mistake here, you're welcome to delete yourself by a proposal or to put yourself in if, if you would like to be a mentor. You do need to register with Google, each of those registered words is a hyperlink to a form. You just need to submit that form. Any questions on roles, responsibilities, and people? The one, the so, one gap here is technical writers. We don't have that. They'll submit after we create the proposal. Go ahead. Right. So I'm, I'm trying to understand the breakup. You said that we're so I, I. Are we submitting one or two? You said you're going to be org admin for the Jenkins thing, but you're not prepared to be it for more than one. So we're submitting one or two applications. I'm still lost. Sorry. My picture was one application, which will have up to two. We'll have many project ideas. And the way Google's described it is they'll accept up to two. I think what's I, that I, this is what I've understood, Oleg. And yes. those two technical writers will submit their their applications to it. And if the applications are accepted, then we mentor them as they do the work on those two projects. So in that other document, we have all these project ideas. We propose those and then up to two writers will pick from the whole list. Is that what happens, Mark? That's I, I'm not sure that it's up to two writers is that applicants so technical writers yeah so technical writers propose apply to the project and if we accept them they ch they then work on that project idea and we assign mentors to assist with that project idea Oleg, okay, did so i describe it correctly or? yeah mm, you did right okay so the project ideas that we list in the application that they're they're not going to all be done right and like we don't have control over which ones get picked correct so correct. they just correct. pick from that list and then if and then so I'm trying to understand like so 
we have these project ideas and I see on some of my potential mentor, I see, you know, you mark for some of them and then we'll obviously propose some things in the application, but then really the mentors that are going to work on this are dependent on what the writers that decide to work on this project select. Mm -hmm. And maybe, yeah. And maybe well, we can... well, oh, yeah, I could clarify that. Uh, we cannot uh, really influence which uh, projects get selected by potential uh, uh, technical writers, but uh, they submit applications to our organization, and then we have the ultimate power to choose the projects we want. Uh, but uh, yeah, there is no magic. So, for example, if you have Jenkins X, and if nobody submits an application to Jenkins X, you won't be able to to pick this project. But if somebody accepts, then you will have to make this another one, and we will be making it as an organization. Um, so yeah. yeah, that's how it happens. Uh, we cannot say for sure. Uh, uh, which number of applications we will get, uh, what quality of these applications uh, we will have. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, yet uh, to be seen. Uh, but yeah, if we are lucky, we can uh, have uh, projects and we will ultimately have a final say uh, which uh, uh, project uh, applications we take. Okay, no, understood. Just trying to understand how it, how it works. Appreciate the explanation. Yeah, right. So there is a long document about the Google season of dogs where they tried to explain all this selection process. Okay. But it's mostly taken from JSOC with some variations. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Mark, if you if you need an admin or whatever, org admin for a, for a subpart, then please let me know. I'm happy to to help with that. Thank you. Thanks very much. Sure. No, thanks for letting us be part of this. I'm excited. I think this is um, this is going to be really great. Yeah, right. So, if uh, we decide to go with two parallel project, I am uh, able to be alternative alternative organization admin in the Jenkins project. Okay. I'm fine with not being uh, org admin because JSOC is pretty much enough for me. Uh, but yeah, if uh, Tracy wants to focus on Jenkins X, I can probably fill this slot if needed. Great, thank you. Thanks so, so much, Oleg. Yeah. So I'm. Yeah, great. In terms of in terms of other details here, we've got we need additional project ideas. So and that I assume we're going to assemble project ideas. I gather more project ideas this week, so before end of this week, into that document, into the doc. And then April 22, we submit, and it then comes back, the technical writers can then review those proposals and submit their applications. So I think I've captured the action items in the Google Doc already. There were two that we listed there. Oleg to submit the final application Sunday the 22nd and me to submit a pull request to Jenkins.io for Google Summer of Doc. I think we should put one more, which is add Jenkins X project ideas. And let's put that on John, if that's OK. Yeah, that's fine. All right. And John, let's see if I've got your email address here. I don't, so it's jha at cloudpiece. Is that correct, John? Correct. All right. OK, great. OK, got it. So that one's assigned in the doc. I would like to have our next meeting. Well, now the question is, is April 22, that's a Sunday, isn't it? And that's not a terribly workable day for a next meeting. So should we rather consider another meeting one week from now to talk about where we are? Mm, I will be traveling on uh, April 24th, but yeah, not uh, really required at this meeting, I believe. 
Yeah, and Oleg, can you, my apologies, I don't know the details on the timelines after the April 23 application deadline. When will Google make their decisions on, on project ideas, or what is the next major milestone after that? Okay. So, yeah, that's why we have links somewhere in this document. Just a second, I'll find it. Okay. Useful links, uh, just thought. Yes, yeah, so there should be timeline here. Okay, yeah, timeline. So, yeah, April 23rd yeah, is deadline for applications. Then April 29th is uh, 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 review time. So on April 30th, uh, Google publishes uh, the list of organizations. And then, uh, yeah, then uh, there will be one month of discussions. So applications, you may see that everything really starts um, in uh, June. Great. So it feels like to me a good status would be the week of April 23, we get together to double check that we've satisfied all the things that Google needs before they publish the list of mentoring organizations. Mm -hmm. So I will send out a doodle, a, a doodle request to some, for something the week of April 23 and start a, an agenda for that. Okay. Great. Any other topics that we need to discuss here today? Hmm, I don't think so. All right. Thanks, everybody. Let's go ahead and conclude this meeting. Thanks very much. We'll start the agenda for the next meeting and the Google the, the doodle to request to find a good time for everyone. Thanks very much for being part of it. Thanks, Mark. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.